Well, hi there. This is Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. And in this video, I'm talking about some major updates to the AI 102 exam, which is designing and implementing a Microsoft Azure AI solution. Now, these updates come into effect on April 30th, 2025. Now, we know that Azure AI and AI in general is a major area of innovation, not only within Microsoft, but worldwide. And so we should not be surprised that this exam is changing a lot. Every year, every few months, they implement new requirements, and this one is a fairly major change. Now, unfortunately, Microsoft is not providing the before April 30th requirements, so I can't show them side by side very easily. But we can look at the skills measured, and we can look at the changes, and we can see what's going on. I'm going to skip over the preamble here and go right to the skills at a glance. There are six major objectives of this exam. Now this has changed. We have plan and manage Azure AI solution. We have generative AI now up at the top here. We have agentic solution that's brand new. Computer vision, natural language processing and knowledge mining. We can see that some of these percentages have changed as well. So this manage an AI solution, which is a generic capabilities of Microsoft AI has gone up to 20 to 25% of the overall score. The content moderation has been merged with generative AI here. So it used to just be content moderation. And now it includes what used to be generative AI, which had its own section, which has been merged together. Now we can see that, and we'll talk about each section separately. We have this implement agentic solution, brand new, never existed in the last exam. Computer vision solutions has actually decreased. Natural language processing has also decreased in scope. And the final one, knowledge mining has increased. So what we can read from this is that the core Azure AI services, you know, used to be face services and translation services and text analysis. Some of that stuff is starting to go away. We're getting more of content moderation and open AI being more important, as well as this new area of agents, AI agents, and as well as knowledge mining. So some of these types of solutions are actually becoming less important on this exam. If we scroll down a little bit into the first section in terms of the intro section, plan and manage an Azure AI solution. You can see we've got our usual introductory section, which is generative AI, computer vision, natural language, just sort of the overall knowledge of AI services. Then we can also see that under plan, create and deploy, it's listed as major change. And we've got our responsible AI in there, choosing the appropriate AI models. That'll be the deploying AI models. And we, this was on the exam before as well, container deployment. So this is somewhat different than it used to be. This new section, Implement AI Solutions Responsibly, is brand new. And so this is just understanding all of the responsible AI framework, content safety, content filters, and block lists. This is how you use AI and protect the customers and your employees and yourself from some of those known areas that need protection. Now, like I said, what used to be content moderation is now generative. We still have the generative AI. So this new thing called Azure AI Foundry is now part of this. And so this, like I said, Foundry, brand new section for here. We used to have this open AI section. And so that's just been moved up. It says new, but it's been moved up. Dal E, multimodal models. Implement OpenAI Assistant. I think that's new too. This generative AI was also part of the previous exam. It's been moved up. 
fine tuning, orchestration. There's some new elements to the generative AI solution. This whole section is new agents, how to create custom agents using Azure AI agent service. Okay. Now, like I said, some of this stuff has been reduced in scope. So computer vision is one. I don't expect that there will be any much changes. It's just lower in scope. So these are all the same topics that were on the last exam. Natural language processing. We can see analyze and translate. It used to just say analyze. And so the translate has been merged into this first section and process and translate speech. So this is the Azure AI speech services, text to speech, speech to text. Custom language models. They renamed this, obviously this says major changes. So I imagine there's going to be a lot in here. So it used to be called Q and a maker and got rolled into the Azure AI language natively as a conversational language understanding. And now that's no longer on the exam at all. Going down to knowledge mining, we can see that AI search services has what major changes. Document intelligence hasn't changed too much and AI content understanding. This is OCR. This is processing of documents, ingesting with Azure AI content understanding. It's calling this new. So the generative AI solutions been deleted, open AI services that was really just moved up to the previous section. So as we can see, AI 102 gone through some major changes implementing as of April 30th. So if you are been studying under the old, you may want to hurry up and take the exam before the end of the month. If you don't think you'll make the end of the month, you have to keep in mind, there's going to be a whole bunch of new things that you'll need to learn. Anyways, this has been Scott Duffy from getcloudskills.com. And this is the changes coming to the AI 102 exam.